Hey guys and welcome to Astro Music and Tutorials. Today we're going to be giving you an in-depth review of a plugin called Decent Sampler. If you're broke and can't afford contact, this is a plugin for you. After the review, I'll be breaking down a chill hop song I made with some of my favorite sounds from Decent Sampler. Remember to like and subscribe if you like our content and let's dive into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is search Decent Sampler in your search bar and click the first link which should take you to this page and go ahead and download it. After installation, your plugin will be ready to start collecting some sounds. Next, go to a website called Piano Book, where you're gonna be accessing all the different kinds of instruments and sounds available for download. This website contains hundreds of sound banks for Decent Sampler and Contact, which have been uploaded by different producers from all over the world. And the site is constantly being updated with newer sounds. Now, before you can get overwhelmed by all this, Go to the sample pack section and click Decent Sampler. Once you do that, you'll be taken to this page where you can start exploring the ocean of sound banks available to you. They let you search by instrument type to make things easier, or you can just start scrolling down through all these free and paid sounds. As you can see, I wasn't kidding when I said ocean of sounds, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. When you click on a sound or instrument you like, you'll be taken to a page where you'll find some in-depth explanation regarding the sound and the producer that uploaded it. In this case, it's Isometra by a producer named Venus Theory. Every sound bank page will be more or less the same with the sound and artist details along with the video which reviews the particular sound bank, which you can use as a reference before you download it. Now this is what you have to click in order to download the sound. Some sounds may have the contact version as well, we just need the decent sampler version. Below that, you can see how the interface of that sound bank will look like once it's loaded onto the decent sampler. And lastly, you'll find the ratings for the sound on the bottom which you can use to determine whether the sound is good or not. I admit, there are a lot of free sounds in the piano book which may not sound as good, but that doesn't mean that there aren't any good ones as well. Take the time to do some exploring and you can see for yourself what this ocean holds. So this is what the Decent Sampler looks like when you pull it up without any instruments loaded in it. Click the Browse button to be taken to the Inbuilt Sample Store, which gives you quite a few free as well as paid sounds to start your journey. Call it a small window to an ocean of sounds. Now just like Piano Book, you'll find some great as well as not so great sounds. But unlike Piano Book, you'll have no way to determine that till you download the sound and see for yourself, because there are no reviews. When you click on My Libraries, that's where you'll find all the instruments and sound that you have loaded onto the plugin. As you can see, I've been collecting for some time, and I know that there's still a lot more to find, and this is just the free sounds. I definitely need to start looking into the paid as well. So that's it for the basic interface, and now let's see what the instrument interface looks like. As you can see, each instrument has their own unique look as well as controls to really shape your sound. Now let me break down a chill hop beat I made with some of my favorite sound banks. So as usual, I started off with the piano. And this is a progression that I came up with. So the sound bank I use is called Playel Felt, which you can find in the Piano Book website. It's a very warm sounding piano, perfect for what I'm going for. For the effects, I used a multiband compressor to boost the signal a little, and an EQ to cut the unwanted lows, and also to boost the highs for that felt piano sound. Next, we'll jump straight into the pads for some ambience. I just made a simple progression, but it does the job. Here's what it sounds like. The sound I used for this is the Casio Slow Tape. There are a lot of great pad sounds on Decent Sampler, so find the one that suits you. As for the effects, I use a stereo enhancer to widen the sound. 
a Valhalla Supermassive to make it more spacey, and an EQ to cut the unwanted lows to prevent muddying up the mix. Here's the drum pattern that I came up with. This is one of the two elements on the beat not made from decent sampler. Here's the bass line to complement those drums. This is the other element not made from Decent Sampler. It's the Free Somatics Eternity bass sample. For effects, I used a multiband compressor to boost the signal, an EQ to cut the unwanted highs, and a limiter for side chaining. Now for the guitar lead. This was made with one of my favorite sound banks called Stella. This is a free version of the actual paid version of the sound bank, but it's still one of the best sounding guitar samples in my opinion. For effects, I just use an EQ to cut the lows. Now let's move on to a guitar fill, which acts kind of as a counter melody to the lead. It's the Sufyan Hu sound bank. For effects, I have a reverb to make it a little spacey, a crystallizer for some high end delay, and an EQ to cut the unwanted lows. Now for a lead sort of ambient pad in the second half of the song. This is the Isometra sound bank. I guarantee you that any sound bank made by Venus Theory is top notch. So make sure you download them without any hesitation. It also looks as beautiful as it sounds. For effects, I have a stereo enhancer to widen the sound, an effect rack for more ambience and space, and an EQ to cut the unwanted frequencies. Now I'll show you how I made this ambient riser. This is what the audio file looks like on the MIDI. It's the Santa Monica sound bank, another gem. So select the pattern and press Ctrl Alt C to render it into an audio file. Now we can manipulate the sound better and also automate it easily. After that, go to the knob next to the audio file on the channel rack. Right click and select automate clip. Then just play with the automation till you get it to how you want it. For effects, I have a stereo enhancer to widen the sound a Valhalla Supermassive to make it more spacey, and a fruity limiter for sidechaining the kick to make it a bit more impactful when the drop hits. Also another way to automate the volume is by adding a fruity balance on the effect rack and right clicking and automating the volume knob on that. Now let's hear the full beat.
Thanks for watching the tutorial. I hope we helped you out somewhere or the other. Like and subscribe if you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one.